Today we'll be installing American Muscle Graphics White Le Mans Stripes for 15 to 17 months. Tools required for this install are a spray bottle with soap and water mixture, plastic squeegee, pair of scissors, X-Acto knife or razor blade, painter's tape, and a soft cloth. Lay the stripe set out flat to help relax the stripes. This will make it easier to handle. Mark the center line of the area at the front and rear of the car using the painter's tape. Spray the hood generously with the soap and water mixture. Lay stripes on center of hood marked by the painter's tape. You will be able to move the stripes once on the hood because of the soap and water sprayed earlier. Once you have the stripes in their final position, use the plastic squeegee to push any air bubbles out to the edges of the stripes. It's easier to remove bubbles by squeegeeing from the center out to the edges. Once the stripes are squeegeed and flat spray the transfer tape with the soap and water generously, the tape then becomes a little bit more transparent. Let the tape soak a while, this will soften the adhesive of the tape and give the stripes the chance to dry and adhere underneath. You may also use a heat gun or a hair dryer to help dry the water from underneath the stripes. Once you have all the air bubbles out and the stripes have dried underneath, slowly peel the transfer tape from the stripes. Pull the tape as flat on the car as possible. This will help prevent the tape from pulling up the vinyl. One trick that may be helpful is to place a squeegee on the transfer tape and peel it back against the squeegee while holding squeeze it down on the decal, keeping it tight on the tape that's being pulled. Once the tape is off, you can use a squeegee covered in a cloth that will not scratch the vinyl and keep the vinyl wet if you need to. But at this point, you may need to use a pin or needle to release any bubbles. Squeegeeing on vinyl that has been stuck to the surface may wrinkle instead of moving air from underneath the vinyl. Remove your tape. You can use an X-Acto knife or a razor blade to trim the excess material. Tuck around to the back side or underneath of the body where needed. For bumper installation, mark the center of the car with one side of the tape where the location of the inside edge of the stripe will be. Do this entire length on the bumper. Next, prep for putting the stripes on in pieces, starting at the bottom. These sections need to be cut because they will not go on straight when going over the bumper. You can cut the stripes to shape on the car carefully. Tape the horizontal part of the bumper using several layers of tape. You will be cutting through the vinyl as it's applied to the car. The tape protects the finish, but you must be mindful of how deep you cut. Cut only through the vinyl. Cut one side of the stripe long enough to fit the section of the bumper you need. Leave a little extra for you have to trim to fit this piece. Wet down the car and the stripe as you did before. Place stripe on the car by aligning it up on the edge of the tape, applying it from the bottom up to the horizontal. Cut with the X-Acto or razor knife through the stripe but not into the paint. Cut as close to the edge of the bumper where it bends using a straight edge. Leaving the tape on, peel back the vinyl out of the way on the bottom. Just as you cut a piece for the bottom, cut one for the top. You can slide the piece under the grill where applicable and remember to leave enough extra to trim. Peel back the top section and remove the protective tape. Trim off and tuck vinyl as necessary as you did before. Change tape locations as to center the other side of the stripe. If you don't have tape the same size as your spacing, repeat other side of stripe.